Welcome to FreshMind.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to have a little bit of fun just modeling an item just for the sake of modeling an item. Uh, the reason being is just to keep my modeling skills from getting rusty if I'm really not doing much on a project or anything. So that's what I am going to do, and I'm just going to record it, hoping that you watching will get something out of it. All right, so again, it's not really a tutorial. It's just uh, me just modeling for the sake of modeling. It's just going to be something cushiony, so I decided to model kind of the back of a a chair like an office chair and I'm not using a reference this is just out of my head so um, if you don't see another chair like this <laughs> that's why I won't do much explaining during the modeling stage but during the UV part I will since most you know a lot of people have a hard time learning UV uh, mapping I went ahead and googled uh, textile textures and found this texture here it was a free texture on a website if you can down if you find this texture here, you can actually download it and get a bigger size. It's free. I just went ahead and just right clicked and saved the image that was shown. Uh, it's like 256 by 256. All right. We also have a checkerboard pattern. This also came from online, and I used this to texture to UV map my items because it lets me know if any stretching and stuff like that, just easier if you work with a checkerboard pattern. And I've got numbers on there, letters, just for the sake that if I have UVs that are backwards, then when I look at my object, these letters will be backwards, so it's a good visual, uh, visual cue uh, having a letter or a number, just something on there. All right, with that said, I'm going to use the same texture uh, for a bump, so let's go ahead and just knock that out of the way. I'm just gonna go ahead and edit with this with GIMP, and I'm just gonna take the color out of it, basically. You can apply it like it is, and if, you, if you're using GIMP, you can actually even go under Filters, where it says Map, go over to Bump Map, and you can play with options and you know depth and kind of modify it some. Uh, all I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to go to Colors, Hue, and Saturation. I'm just going to take all the saturation out, so saturation to zero, so now there's no colors. I'm going to go to Brightness and Contrast, and just make this brighter, and just add some contrast. So maybe something, maybe about, maybe not quite super bright. Maybe it's something about like that. All right, click OK, File, Save As, and let's save this as bump.jpg, save, save. All right, so there is our bump map now. All right, it's a small file. Um, it's probably not a completely tile uh, proof seam or a seamless texture, but we'll work with it anyways. All right, let's model a cushion for the back of a chair. Let's get rid of that. Let's kind of make this a little bigger. Just going to shape this up a little bit. Something about like that. Add some divisions. Maybe not too many. Let's give it a little bit of shape. Not quite so pointy there in the middle. Just kind of round this bottom off. Whoops, a little bit. There we go. All right, so there's the shape at the back of our chair. I'm going to put a seam across the middle here, just on the front side, and a seam right, uh, just lower half on each side right there. All right, so let's just start doing some beveling and Start cutting into this thing. Yeah, good enough. And let's change this so I got better control. There we go. All right. Let's bevel this. Add a couple of segments since we're going to make a seam. I'm just going to pull that middle edge inward to make our seam. All right. That works good there. Let's. Do the same thing here. A couple of segments, change our offset. All right, we don't need all these edges up top, so let's kind of use our split polygon tool. Go to the 
bottom. Let's go ahead and extrude this out. Kind of need to do that right now, I think. Extrude. Pull that out a little bit. It's maybe a little bit too much. There we go. Pull these corners out just a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, as long as it looks good with the eye. If it looks good to the eye, then it's probably good enough. Got to keep moving forward, keep moving on. Progress. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and bevel these. Because I'm going to smooth all this once we're done. So let's do a bevel. Change the offset. Let's kind of see what that looks like. Smooth preview. That looks pretty good. Let's finish cutting this up a little bit. And this is just so I can get rid of some extra edges. Keep the poly count a little lower. Delete those edges. So now we just have those extra edges where we need them. Uh, this one across the back I'm going to leave because I'm going to have this kind of pinched in, that part we extruded. So I'm going to leave that there for now. I might change that. We'll see. If y'all want this in quads, if you're doing this, um, just delete. I don't mind these triangles. Depending on Triangles don't bother me depending on where they're at and how they're used. But if you want it in quads, you can just do that right there and it puts it in quads. Same thing with the bottom down here. Just select that, select that, delete. All right, let's select some edges. Let's just push those in. That's going to be our create our seams. Let's grab these side ones. We'll grab both those there. Same on this side. And then we'll grab these bottom ones here. Just pull those up. All right, that works, that's good enough. Smooth preview. All right, so there we go. It's getting there. Let's, I'm gonna go ahead and insert an edge loop there and there just to kind of hold this and make that, it'll probably, it won't smooth as much, but I'll get better uh, see how it kind of pinches in better right there? So that's what I was wanting. Let's grab this. I'm just going to pull that in. Now we'll just go ahead and cut this in half and just work on half of it. But there's really not a whole lot here. So this is, I mean, in my opinion, this is really not, it's not going to make that big of a, a difference because it's really pretty much about done. See now I got that pinched in right there. Just make sure it looks all right. All right, looks fine. All right, so there's our chair. Let's just do a little bit more to this thing. Give us some character.
chair with a chest. <laughs> no, that's not what that is. <laughs> kind of the area where someone's head is maybe sitting in the chair for a long time, or it's just kind of like, where it's just not flat, it's just kind of uh, concave a little bit. That's all I'm doing right there. Maybe make this a little bit wider. Let's make this a little bit fluffier down here. Maybe pull these out. Just being creative. Just adding a little something to it. So it doesn't look too dull. See how that's looking. That looks a lot better. All right, I like that right there. Let's just kind of give this thing some curvature, and then we're done. We're done with it. So I'm gonna do a, uh, a lattice. And if you ever want to know where that's at, just go to Animation Menu Set, Create Deformers. There's your lattice right there. Once you create it, you can go over here in channel box and you can change your, just like you're adding divisions to a polygon box, it's kind of the same thing. All right, and you right click and then select lattice point. And now you can just go in here and kind of adjust this. So let's give this a little bit of a bend to our chair. go. Select our chair, delete the history, and it gets rid of the lattice. And now our chair is has a bend to it. All right, so there's our chair. All we need now is a texture on it. Let's go ahead and just delete history, give it a name. We'll call it cushion. And let's go ahead and save this file, save scene. And let's put this on my desktop. For now, let's call it cushion. Okay, now it comes a stage where I will, what's well, actually will take the longest by far, and I will do as much explaining as well I think is necessary. <laughs> um, explaining texturing is not always the easiest thing 